Hey guys, it's Austin here with White Orca Designs. Uh, finally got our package in from MakeXYZ.com. They're three. They three D printed us our uh, prototype rifle stocked uh, main chassis. Uh, we ordered this so we could test its fit against a stock Remington 700 action and see how it, the action interacts with a AICS style magazine. Uh, so I'm uh, gonna open it up, kind of see you know what kind of quality we got and. Uh, We'll do some uh, test fitting here a little bit later and uh, include that in this video as well. So uh, I already did cut the tape in preparation for this. Inside, Let's see here, here's the, we've got the main piece there. This looks like it was done probably on a rip wrap or a maker bot, uh, done with the plastic filament uh, printing material. Uh, doesn't come out as fine a detail you can see uh, the grains in it um, but other than that I mean it feels very stout uh, I don't know that you know we'd want to make our rock stock from this type of plastic over the long term but I think it'll work great for what we're needing it for um, you know I got you guys have seen the pictures on our Facebook uh, it did they did let me know that they had to cut the back off of this piece it was too long uh, I'm guessing that's in here. Um, it will accept, you know, a stock Remington 700 or Remington 700 style action and trigger group. Uh, you can't really see it now, but there's a back here is where you can mount uh, standard AR style uh, pistol grips without the back strap. Uh, standard AR style trigger well guard. Look at that right there. We have the remaining half of this guy. We'll uh, fit it up and glue it up here in a little bit. You can see about the the raw size of this this piece. Of course, here you'll going forward you'll have the fore end. Back here you'll have the, either the folding stock, fixed stock, or AR style stock. Uh, this adapter right here is what allows you to mount the action to this little guy up there after, and you can set that backwards. It's my own part. I think we'll have to sand this down a bit to get the parts to a little bit better, but there, really, there like that. You, know, you can get your AR style handle right in there. There's the mag well or the magazine release. Uh, we haven't received our magazine in yet. That fits in there real nice. Uh, we've got the hardware, so our hardware over here, including the mag spring. Uh, we'll be able to test that out. You know, it's your paddle style mag release on the mags in there. Look at forward mag drops, load the other one in, spring loaded. Uh, so these pieces, uh, like I said, we didn't get the, the entire assembly printed, uh, mostly because since the other, the rest of the assembly mates to parts we designed, uh, we're able to verify fit, form, and function in, in the computer. Uh, since these, this parts are here mating with, you know, stuff designed and made by others, we want to be able to verify you know, the manual measurements we took to reverse engineer them will fit uh, and fit good. Uh, so, like I said, we'll probably sand this up a bit. Uh, take my Remington 700 and 308, you know, move the scope, move the action and barrel, mount it on this guy. Uh, make sure all our hardware works once we get their magazine in, put the magazine in here. Make sure it loads and drops good. Uh, see you about possibly cycling a couple rounds. Um, mount a mag you know, pistol grip back here. Obviously, we won't have a stock or a fore end, uh, but we should be able to get a good idea of, of how well our design will fit. Um, like I said, once I get this cleaned up and get our magazine in, we'll get some video of that up for you guys. Uh, so, we'll see you here in a minute. 